Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, I was made to serve. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, or the prophecy let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Romans 12. 4 through 6. From the beginning of time, humanity was given a God ordained purpose to have authority over the earth and to serve. We see where God told Adam to dress the garden to keep it. Now, God could have made the garden to be a self maintaining place of unprompted perfection, but instead, God made it a place requiring human attention and labor. The garden was not a place of continual idleness and self indulgence, but of divine purpose and service. After all, when we first meet God in Genesis 1, he was working. We were also made in his image. We were made to work. When God redeems a human being, he places that person in a new garden, a paradise known as the church. The body of Christ, like the Garden of Eden, the church is not a place of spontaneous perfection. It requires continuous dressing and keeping by the believers acting as God's stewards. Every member has a vital role in the ministry of the church. Unfortunately, these are the days when we grew up in church and we are able to pick and choose what positions we want, where we want to serve and do what we want. We never had the chance to choose the parts of our bodies, what we want wear and what we didn't want. They were chosen for us, made and put in place by God, and all serve their purpose and are placed at the right place. Can you imagine your hands being where your feet should be or your ears being where your mouth should be? If we should ask on average what role you'd like to play in the church, most persons would say a preacher, teacher. Obviously, we've seen the explosion on social media and various platforms of all the apostles and bishops that exist in today's world. But sadly, there are so many other positions that people choose not to want because of how the church have depicted these positions. How many persons would desire to be an usher? <laughs> because it is not a position that is as prominent as being a prophet, just like being a deacon. There are many persons who look down on the office of being a deacon because of what has been displayed in modern churches. However, the deacon serves a vital role in the body of Christ. As a matter of fact, one of the greatest messages that has ever been preached in the scripture was preached by a deacon by the name of Stephen. Which part of your body would you consider being unnecessary? Your eyes? Your mouth? your hands, and the list goes on. Every member of our body serves a vital role, and in many cases, the parts of our bodies, as Paul describes it as being uncomely, serves an extremely vital role. Many of us love to give God thanks for our eyes or our mouth, but you'll never hear someone giving thanks for the fact that they have an anus. Many persons are not thankful for their anus until they experience constipation. Then they know the important role that their anus serves. My point is, child of God, we were all made for a purpose. We're not going to all be preachers. We're not going to all be teachers. We're not going to be all singers. But whatever God has called you to do, do what he has called you to do. David said that he rather to be a doorkeeper in the house of God. If I'm called to clean the church, then I'm going to clean it in Jesus' name. If I'm called to play the music, I'm going to play it in Jesus' name. If I'm called to be a treasurer, I'm going to do it in Jesus' name. If I'm called to be an usher, I'm going to usher to the best of my ability. I'm not concerned about where in the body I am. I'm just thankful to be a part of the body. So do not allow the enemy to mess with your minds. Allow you to look at other people wishing that you were where they are. I'm going to do that which God has called me to do. And in so doing, I will fulfill my purpose. The quote of the day, do whatsoever God had called you to do. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.